Friday, August 13, 1965, The New York Times. Fire in Brooklyn rages four hours. Ten alarm blaze destroys blocks in Williamsburg. A ten alarm fire roared out of control for more than four hours in a heavily industrialized area of Brooklyn yesterday, devastating several blocks and causing damage estimated at more than five million dollars. The fire was believed to have started with an explosion in a lumber yard in the Williamsburg section. It spread rapidly and soon left in smoldering ruins a pickle plant, a tinsmith concern, and a rubber products factory. A beer distributor's warehouse was damaged. The first alarm was sounded shortly before 2 p.m. and the others followed in rapid succession. 60 pieces of firefighting equipment, including two fire boats and 350 firemen, were at the scene. About 30 pieces of fire apparatus were summoned from Manhattan and Queens. Shortly after 6 p.m., the fire was declared under control. In each borough, the maximum number of alarms is five, after which succeeding alarms bring equipment from other boroughs. Flames 100 feet high. Thousands of spectators who rushed to the scene could see flames leaping 100 feet into the air. Heat so intense it could be felt a block away melted electrical street wires overhead. Firemen had to work in relays when their rubber coats started to blister. Smoke from the blaze could be seen from across the East River in Manhattan. Several blocks away, along Newtown Creek, a number of gasoline and kerosene storage tanks escaped possible destruction when a brisk wind kept the flames and heat away. A number of firemen were treated for smoke inhalation, but otherwise no serious injuries were reported. Fire officials at the scene said they believed the fire started in the Pinewood Sawdust Company plant at 501 Skull Street, but said the cause was unknown. The flames spread next door to the Metropolitan Showcase Company and then were whipped by the wind east to Stewart Avenue, Stag, Skulls, and Messerol Streets between Varick and Stewart Avenues suffered the most damage. The fire burned through several one-story structures across a railroad track, destroying several freight cars and blazed at the rear of a beer distribution plant and a rubber supply concern. 25 fire department water pumpers were at the scene, in addition to two fire boats and Newtown Creek. Also on hand for the first time was a new super pumper that dispenses 8,800 gallons of water a minute. Fire Commissioner Martin Scott said the new pumper would be used through the night. Five million gallons saved. Fifteen of the pumps were ejecting city water at a rate of about 1,000 gallons a minute each from about 2 to 6 p.m. Commissioner Scott estimated that more than 5 million gallons of city water had been saved by 10 o'clock last night by dispensing river water through the super pumper and the fire boats. It was estimated that in four hours up to 6 p.m., when its use was discontinued, about 3.6 million gallons of city water had been consumed. An executive of a lumber warehouse in the area estimated the damage to lumber and buildings at at least $5 million. He described the area as a major lumber terminal with large stores of mahogany, teak, ebony, and other woods. At 3.30 p.m., while the firemen were struggling with the lumberyard blaze, a four-alarm fire erupted in Brooklyn's Red Hook section about three miles away. That fire broke out in two abandoned two-story brick residences at 55 and 57 Sullivan Street and spread to two three-story frame houses at 59 and 61 Sullivan Street. Three families occupying 59 and one in 61 were evacuated safely. Five firemen were treated for smoke inhalation at Methodist Hospital, and the blaze was declared under control at 4.23 p.m.